Hi, uh, welcome to part 2 of my brush tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I'll teach you guys how to make your own custom brush. Um, the first step is to draw the shape of the brush that you want. So for this tutorial, I'm going to do kind of a squarish kind of brush. So uh, I'm going to draw a square, square rectangular, okay, not really square, maybe just a rectangularish kind of brush. Okay, I want it to look sort of like this, right? And one thing to note is that don't um, make a new layer. Okay, here's my layer. Right? Instead of drawing on the background layer, make a new layer and draw it on this new transparent layer instead. Okay, because we don't we only want the shape, the brush, we don't want anything else. So um, and the color you use that to draw this isn't um, really relevant. You can use any color you want, but for simplicity's sake I'm just using black. Okay, so once you kind of have the shape of your brush, we will just select it and then go to edit and there is an option called define brush preset. So just select that. Okay, and you can give a name to this brush. So just call it demo one. Alright, deselect it and now when you go to your brush tool and you take a look at your brush list, the new brush is right at the bottom over here. Right, so you can already start using it, but you notice that there is no texture, it doesn't blend very well. So you can remedy that by opening up your brush panel and then we can make um, some refinements to this current brush. Okay, so first thing first, the brush shape itself. So the spacing is up to you, you want to make it more smooth. right? Uh, You can drop the spacing lower. Okay. The further the spacing, the yeah, it doesn't blend very well. Already. Okay, so maybe let's say ten, and maybe you want to adjust the angle of your brush. This way, this way. Mm. Just become square. This way. Like this. Okay, maybe something like this. Alright, so the shape's done. Okay, so for a painting brush like this, there's not many options that we want to adjust. Alright, so let's take a look at shape dynamics. Um, size, jitter. Okay, you can see that it's no longer smooth, but there's kind of like a little bit of um, edginess to it. There's a little bit of... Okay. The more the jitter, the more wobbly your brush will look. Okay, so maybe for this one, I don't want it to be so wobbly, I just want it to be smooth, so I set it to zero. Okay, minimum diameter, so the smallest diameter of your brush, you can set it to zero. So you can go from a sharp point all the way to broad and then all the way, right? So from, you can go from thin to thick. And this is controlled by your pen pressure as well. Angle jitter, the try. Right. No, no, it looks really rough. So Right. adds a bit of a wobble to it, but uh, we'll just keep it at zero as well. Right. So when usually when making your own brush, um, I'll just tend to play around until I get something that I like. Okay, so that's shape dynamic, so we turn it on. Um, we won't use scattering for this, and yeah, we want to texture our brush, so we need to turn on the texture. So we'll turn this on, and you can see there are some options here. So basically we need to load the texture that we want our brush to have. And there are already a few default ones inside Photoshop. Uh, this is one of these. These three are the default ones, I think. So let's say I pick this one, right? And let's paint something, right? You can see there is texture inside. There you go. I'll make it bigger so you can see. There, there's texture when you paint it. Okay. Um, but I guess you don't really want to use the default. Photoshop texture, so what we need to do is to make our own texture. So what we do is, okay, we need to find a photograph, uh, let's say something like this. Okay. Right, this is a photo of some rust, and I want to use this as a texture for my brush. So what I do is, um, let me just make some adjustment to it. Um, this is levels. Right. I want to make the dark darker and the light areas lighter. So it's more higher contrast. Alright. Okay, so 
select this and I will go to edit so instead of defining brush preset I will select define pattern there you go so pattern name okay and can close this no. okay so when we go back to our texture list you realize that the rusty texture is now added to the rest of the textures here and when you select that uh, yeah you get the rust texture so let's try another texture okay this one Okay, this is a painted texture from Luna NYX stock. I think you can find her on DeviantArt. Right, so I think we want to increase the contrast quite a lot more so that the texture will stand out a little bit better. Okay. Right, and we do the same, go to edit and define pattern. Okay. No, don't want to save that. And it's here. Let's see if it works a little better. You can change the scale of the texture, bigger or smaller, and you can mm, maybe just hundred percent. Right. You can change the depth of the texture. I think this will make it stand out a lot more. The texture is now more, very much more obvious. Okay. Well, you can also change the mode in which the texture is applied onto the brush. So right now the default is color burn, but you can just give it a try to all the rest and see which one works the best. Oh, multiply. Multiply is more obvious than multiply. Okay, so you get a lot of interesting effects. So play around until you find something that you like. Mm, maybe I'll go with overlay. Okay, I think I think this is okay. I don't want something that's too obvious. Okay. So that's texture. And okay, dual brush kinds of combine the current brush you have with any of the other brushes that you pick. The effect is not always, um, this requires a lot of trial and error, but it gives you quite interesting effects for your brush. Oh, this is not too bad. So, something else to play with, but I'll turn this off for now. Okay, color dynamics is something I don't really use. Yeah. You can give it a try. It does funny things to the brush, like... <laughs> Give it rainbow colors. Oh, okay. This is really strange. Let me just move it all back down. No, no I don't want any of this. Okay, I'll turn it off. Okay, it's back to normal. <coughs> okay, and transfer should always be on. This is such that so that your pen pressure <coughs> can be detected by the brush. Okay, so this is um, very quickly a simple textured brush. And you can use it for paintings, not too bad. Okay. Okay, now that your brush is pretty much how you want it, um, don't forget to save your brush. Right. So go over to here as usual and select new brush preset. Okay, so now we give it a new name, demo two. Okay, so now there's two brushes, the old one and the new one. So this was the old brush, and this is your new brush. So you don't want the old you don't want the old brush anymore. So go back to your preset manager, and you can delete it. All right. So delete. Okay, done. So here's your new brush. <coughs> right. So that was a painting brush. Um, now I show you guys how to make something more specific, and this is a leaves custom brush. Right. It's a quick way for you to paint a lot of leaves at one go um, like when you need to do like trees or bushes they are in the background so as usual we need to draw the brush um, so over here make a new layer okay layer one and we need to draw the shape of the leaves so I'll just just draw them out okay just need a bunch of leaves 
you can actually use a photograph for this if you want to but just to make things simpler I'm just drawing them out okay so this bunch of leaves try to draw them as natural looking as possible so um, I think this is okay just tidy up my edges of the leaves make them nice and sharp okay so as usual I'll select it and then go to edit um, define brush preset and we'll call it leaves all right go back to brush and it's over here okay so let me choose a green color so it looks like leaves okay but right now it doesn't really look very useful it's just one clump um, so again back to the brush panel and this time round um, the spacing becomes more important so we need to space out our leaves a little bit maybe like this okay and uh, we won't really touch any of these um, we can turn on shape dynamics but minimum diameter we don't want to go to zero now because you don't want your leaves to go from so small to so big that's a bit unnatural so we'll make it maybe 50 percent okay some big and some small but not too small okay and now scattering comes into play we want to make it mm, not so even right we want a little bit of unevenness a bit of randomness to our leaves so we can use scatter to adjust we'll count you want more leaves or lesser uh, the more you get the more uniform they go so you don't want the count to be too high so let's say three looks nice okay um, you don't really need any texture for your leaves so just leave that alone and you don't need the dual brush so you leave that alone as well mm. let me see shape dynamics okay um, under shape dynamics we should give it a little angle jitter as well so this will give a little bit of randomness to the leaves so let's try it out six percent just a little bit because we don't want the leaves to look too crazy right so just a little bit okay yeah. okay let's try, try it out again oh, that looks much better now uh, there we go so to make a quick bush or something right so just pick a dark green and a light green and then you get a very quickly you can paint a convincing looking tree there we go yeah. right so this is how you can very quickly do a leaves custom brush okay and as usual um, don't forget to save it so over here a new brush preset okay leaves two. right and you can delete off the old one Okay, so lastly I want to show you guys how to make a custom chain brush. Right, so let's draw two links of the chain first. Okay. Okay, this since this is going to form the basis of your chain, it should be as nice as possible. But for demo sake I'll just quickly do it like this, okay? And now I'll just again go to define brush preset and call it chain. Okay. And as usual we can take a look at it. It's over here. <coughs> this doesn't look like a chain right now at all. So we need to do some adjustments to it. Okay, so for this one again the spacing there you need to pull it out wide enough so that it just nicely sits okay I think judging from this two things it looks just nice one okay let's give it 200 okay so now it looks kind of like this but it doesn't link up when you move the brush so what you need to okay I guess the spacing came in useful after all um, okay you need to go to shape dynamics and f under angle jitter change the control from off to direction right so you notice that now the links or the links of the chain they join up nicely and when you move your brush right the chain it follows the direction of the chain follows okay so ta -da. and you can do a little bit more fine adjustments yeah so this is a chain brush of course um, it's not just for doing chains you can draw things like vertebrae or 
for doing those industrial for pipes or anything you can think of that utilizes this principle. Okay, so um, making custom brushes is pretty much a lot of playing around with all the settings and finding something that you're comfortable working with. Okay, so I guess that's it.